Okay, Dad, I wanted to show you the project I'm working on today. This is my goat feeder that I made previously. Okay. Hello, ladies. What's happening? Okay. There's Mr. Ruru. What's up, Mr. Ruru? He's my Easter egger. Hopefully, I'll get some baby chick. This is not a chicken coop. This is the goat pen, all right? Anyways, here's the feeder from the inside. And it closes like that, and the goats can eat from, you know, they get it from the side too. Anyways, I don't know why the chickens like this place. I should be videoing like this. So anyway, so he, I split this place in two so that Mama Goat, Anna, could have her own space over here. So here's the door. Da, 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 da. It's pretty nicely. Anyway, so my project now is making a second feeder. So when she's in here, she will not be bothered and her and her babies can have some time. Okay, I had to show you my mint. It always reminds me of mom because of that box she had on the side of the house. And she said, don't ever plant mint in the ground because it will take over. So I put some mint in this pot and I just move the pot wherever and the mint dies. I will totally ignore it and it always comes back in full force. And so here it's coming back. Even this, this stick was completely dead and mint is growing back on it all nicely. And it's just crazy. So mint always reminds me of mom because of her little mint box on the side of the house. Which Crystal has now, and there better still be mint in there, Crystal. I'm just saying. Okay, this forever. pot has some garlic <laughs> in it. Um, my neighbors gave me a bunch of garlic that they had planted, and they said on Thanksgiving just put it in a pot. So I forgot on Thanksgiving. So a few weeks after Thanksgiving, I planted them in this pot, and I put them fairly close together. Teddy was concerned, okay, but so back to the matter at hand. I cut these boards and I cut all of these boards this way is 20 inches this way is 28 inches and I cut all these boards the same length and I did that on the last one but what I need to do is actually cut these so it fits in here. I just don't want any wire poking out to poke any buddy or any goat, so I need to cut it right totally here. locked us out of the house. I think she bolted the door and then went through the doggy door and came outside. Sophia! Can you let us in, please? What happened? I think Favors bolted it and then came out the doggy door. What a filthy, dirty. Why are you taking the video? I found a box of smaller screws. So I'll change it out. Just to make sure. All right, this is what the girls are doing. What are you guys doing? Playing with this cat. Wow, who you got here? Let's see. Our little family. Our little family? Yeah. That's Mama with her big bun. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Papa, Sissy, and Baber Ludis. I think Babers need some bangs. Let me see Babers. Yeah. No. Let's see Babers. Babers, can you draw Mama? Let me draw Laddie. Okay, you draw Laddie. Is this is Laddie now. That's Laddie now? And that's his face? Yeah. Wow. Let me is... Mama. Draw Mama. Okay, let me see. Wow. Yeah, I have a triangle head. That's that's pretty true. That's yeah. Mama. I love it, Babers. Can you I are think? such a good drawer. Can I think? Yeah. I Sophia drew Laddie. Check that out. That is professional. 
Nothing. Why do you, what do you think? That's a spitting image of you. What do you think, Laddie? What do you think, huh? Is it a good job? Yeah, he says yeah. She put that screw in there. That's not the right fit for that, so she's not gonna be very successful. <laughs> wow, babers. You got it. You got it. Are you riding your new bike? Yeah. Wow. Watch out. Okay, I'm not getting any work done, you guys. Hey, where's your other boot? Can you... Okay, can you put your boot on? Okay, so this is super close, but you probably already know what this is, but Teddy got me this thing. So it can hold the screw in place so I can have multiple hands. It's pretty cool. So then I can just drill and not worry about it. By myself. Check this out. Sophia asked me if she could dig a hole. And I said, yeah, but don't ask for help. So she dug this hole all by herself. Oh my goodness, Babers, you fit in there all the way. Yep. That was hilarious. I said she could because this is what our yard looks like. It's a mess right now. And they even have, you show, let's show uh, Pop Pop the pond you have. Okay. I did help them with the pond. This was a previous project. We've got ducks in the pond. We got geese in the pond. A bridge over the pond. She put the bridge on the pond. Pretty soon this will all be gone and we'll have a nice yard. One day. For now we have tarps covering everything. Teddy built that and the other lean to, which is nice. I think we're gonna put some walls up so that it protects it a little more from the rain. We got this tarp up. It's a mess back here. Okay. You better be careful under there. Ta -da. Nice. Okay, your turn, babers. I used to not be able to do it, but then I dug it deep enough. Check it out. I just moved this here from zero over to here where it lines up. Boom. Chop a doobie. We got ourselves an angle. All right, we got that done. Got it attached on there. Now we just need to go over to the goat pen, cut the hole out. Luckily, I have a blade for the jigsaw. And attach that. All right, so I come in this goat pen. This is locked, right? There's a chicken in here. I don't know how she got in here. Maybe when I came in here earlier, I didn't notice her slip in. <laughs> right, I finally think I got this. Here's my hole. This was not as easy. I got the right tools, but I used my jigsaw and I used this thing, which might be a little dangerous. So yeah, I think we're good. Well, hopefully it fits. Alrighty, so that's done. We got this one that I just did. 
that one that I did a bit ago. So this one, this one won't be really used until the babies come. Okay, so we finished this. So they're, I put them in a little bit differently. I don't know which way I think is better. I think there's pros and cons to both of them. This one is set in side of it, but it kind of sticks out. And so it'll stay without this, but if the goats push on it, it easily comes out. This one I put just flush. So, um, kind of the whole thing sets out it it wants to naturally stay upright because of the weight on the other side and I think even with the goats pushing on it I don't I don't think it's likely to come out but I'll probably put a band like that on it just so it doesn't but anyways there's that so here's what it looks like from here if you really wanted to secure it you can just put some screws in there there you go. <laughs> what are you girls doing? <laughs> little birds picking at the food, huh? You little snake. Okay, I was thinking about Mima because I'm making her recipe. You sillies. She taught me this super simple recipe. I was craving it. All it is, it's a broccoli salad, which I really like. Some people don't. Broccoli. This is the dressing. Poppy seed dressing. Some bacon bits. Raisins. You could use craisins or different things. Um, sunflower seeds boom chop up the broccoli add all these ingredients you know to your liking and done and it is tasty we're also doing a pasta salad tonight which i should have used green bell peppers because this looks pretty plain <laughs> i need something to oh green onions I forgot the green onions. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, you girls are not gonna be <laughs> eating dinner. So Say yummy. love you, Pop Pop. Yeah, love you, Pop Pop. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. Say hi to Ellie and David. Hi, Ellie. Hi, David. Hi, Ellie and David. Ciao, ciao. Ciao.